Welcome back. We're back in Studio 61 with our guests from Sequest. We have Jasmine Johnson and Sarah Cook, both from Sequest and Trumbull. And last hour we had a tortoise. Today, right this hour, we have this guy here. Reptar? Reptar, yeah. Reptar. He is quite the... I've never had a guest like him on our couch <laughs> before. Hi. You kind of want to be a little bit nervous because they're a little bit intimidating, but he's very docile right. and yes. relaxed and uh, you know we're, we're sort of getting to know each other a little bit better <laughs> and now I feel like he's grinning at me but that's probably just his face right yeah tell us that's more about face. Reptar yeah so Reptar is about six years old uh, Sequest had him for the last four years he is a donation we usually get um, reptiles that are donations just because customers or guests they really don't understand all the work that they have to put into it and that right. they also don't understand how long that they can get so um, they can be found in Florida, Central America. They have something really cool about them is that they actually have three eyes. Really? So they have their regular two eyes here, and then they actually have their eye right on top. So that's literally just for predators, so they could only see shadows. I see a so, dot. Yep, yeah, right, right here. in the center. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's a little dot. Yeah. But it doesn't so, have an eyeball. No, it's not an eyeball. It's so more like a filter, light filtering, I guess? Yes. So that's he literally really just sees shadows. Um, another fun fact is if a bird actually was to like grab their tail, mm -hmm. they could actually release their tail and drop it and then, and then they, they can grow another one. Yes. Right. Yes. So really, really fun. Wow. Tell us a little bit more about some of the other animals like Reptar that people really wouldn't have the opportunity to get up close and personal with otherwise. Okay. Um, so we have a variety of birds. Um, like I mentioned before, we have the blue and gold macaw. Um, and then we also have like an African Grey, so guests would be able to go um, and like, it's called a meet and greet, they would literally get to meet her. So we have our birds trained so they would step up. So um, a guest would like hold their arm out like this and they, the, we'd have the birds step up on them um, and then like they could take pictures and everything and that just kind of offers them like a one-on-one -on -one, um, like meet and greet in a way and gets guests to... Looks like that was a meet and greet with a Yeah, really see like that's a meet and greet right there. <laughs> right, and there's another one. Yeah. I'm really interested in the water experience you have. The, I mean, certainly it will save families a lot of money instead of going to the Caribbean to go snorkeling. Right. You can go snorkeling with stingrays and sharks and Trumbull. Right. Yes. At the mall of all places. <laughs> right. It's. I think it's so random, but it's literally so fun. It's very accessible to, like, literally anyone. And also a great place if you plan on going on vacation to right. sort of get the kids mm -hmm. familiar with that type of situation. We'll practice. We yeah. don't have anything, like, too crazy there, and everything there is, like, super, like, it's not scary in a way. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people would be scared if they're out in like the wild but no they get to um so for an hour they get to swim um with their stingrays our sharks so for a whole hour that's what this special experience entails yes for a whole hour yeah but there are other options that you have available for admission right talk a little bit more about that yeah so we actually have a token package so our token package actually allows the guests to interact with those animals they actually allow them to feed the animals so like reptar you would be able to go in there you can touch him with your two fingers um, along the back you're actually able to um, use a token and feed him so we do um, let the guests use tongs so if they don't feel comfortable um, just for the safety of them and the animal but they do I see. hand so it's talk. really whatever you're comfortable with yeah right. especially good for kids who are maybe a little yes. bit more uh, nervous. Yes, an exactly. Like Reptar. But you know what? He's been a great guest. <laughs> Thank you so much. And also, I have to mention because I was hoping that you guys could bring the sloth because my daughter, who would be watching her, she would lose her mind. Yes. <laughs> but they're a little bit more sensitive to travel. But you do have a sloth there at the Trumbull location. We do. Yes, we do. He's open for interactions as well. So if anyone's interested, if you want to go to our website too, we have some like buy one get ones and some offers on there that could um, help you out. All right, that's right. And just a reminder, you're in the Trumbull Mall. Yes. yes. <laughs> very cool, very cool. And be very easily accessible as well. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Sarah, Jasmine, thanks so much. And Reptar, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Give me a little nod. He's like, oh, that feels now great. He's, closing his eyes. he's like, and I'm done with you. I'm ready for a nap. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> very cool. What a day this is turning yeah, out to be right? from, from dating show excitement <laughs> to, to giant iguanas. I've never been this close. <laughs> right? There's always something on the Fox 61 News. Hey, Reptar.